This was a debate on the ESC annual report for the period of 2020-2021 that was found to be lacking a comprehensive assessment of the impact of the ESC programs and initiatives on the livelihoods of the citizens within partner states. The report does not indicate the number of beneficiaries and the level at which it has transformed the lives of the people of East Africa. A more detailed assessment of the impact of this project will be valuable. Equally, the quality of the report is substandard in terms of language, grammatical composition of sentences, and the level of analysis. A strong debate in the House also loaded blames to the East African Community Council of Ministers, in which members termed it as an act of negligence. We really want to know what is going on. Why are you, have you adopted a laissez-faire attitude towards the management of ESC affairs in all matters, including managing the secretariat? This is the work of SG. You should review this report before you come and lay it here. But where is the SG? He's not even here. He's in the air most of the time. He does not have time to handle matters of ESC apart from flying. That's all he can do. So this kind of report demonstrates lack of supervision by the council who should supervise the SG. You can copy the literature, but not the strategies and the implementation. It is either the implementation was not there or there was more than, more than one implementation. Since the year four, there's been the issue of understaffing. And each and every report either from the committees or from the uh, council itself, recognizes the problem of understaffing. And for the report to be late, it means such issues would not be taken care of in time. Honorable Kennedy Mukulia, ISN, the chair of the Committee of General Purpose, said most of the partner states, like South Sudan, were left out in the report due to lack of any activity taking place in South Sudan to benefit from the integration process. The report is very inconsistent. Uh, you find that uh, most of the activities that are enumerated as achievements are really uh, hoax. There are things that never took place. Largely the report is a copy and paste of previous uh, reports. Uh, the report itself um, as we mentioned, lacked signatures. It means um, it's a doubt, doubtable report. Because of who authored it, um, who certified it, and how did this report get to the ministers? And the ministers tabled this report before the assembly for the assembly to discover all those inconsistencies. And that they have refused to include statistics about South Sudan. It tells you that they have not done anything tangible in the country to integrate the Republic of South Sudan into the community. So you, you can see from the report itself that data about South Sudan is missing, which means where is it collected? So clearly there is a, a sabotage, there is a way people are working in the community to make sure that partner states don't have to get equitable distribution of the resources of the community. The report that was to narrate the achievements and the activities at hand in the community, especially in the year of 2020-2021, was later thrown out.